Hey there everyone, Hypershedic100 here, bringing you the next part of Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. In the previous episode, I began my assault on the Black Hole base of operations in Blue Moon with the help of our allies from Orange Star. Those guys were extremely strong to be able to take out a recon with their machine guns. Then again, recons have the weakest armor of all non-infantry units. So I guess it doesn't surprise me that much. Yet it does. Unfortunately, I can only gain so much gold a turn. And that amount of gold is not upset by anything. Which makes it horrible. I like when using missile launchers. I'm using the missile silence. Always try and aim for the most powerful group of enemies. Here we go. Who would be the people who have the MD taker and Neo taking group? Unless, of course, you can hit the ones. Checking. Something I'm not gonna do this entire match again. Okay, ten thousand. That is enough for a battle counter. I think I'm going to take it. Not this turn. I think I'm going to wait one more turn for me to try and get more money. I think is a horrible idea now that I think back on it. Yes, that was a horrible idea on my part. In fact, I never want to have anything to do with that decision ever again. Because I have the feeling that that, that, that idea almost destroyed me. MD tanks are still MD tanks no matter how much damage they do. And that was not my brightest idea. No, I guess I'll have to deal with it. Yes, that is a brilliant idea. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Where's my idea, you ask? 
why the next turn we have a couple of these. give you the proper strategy, or at least my thoughts on the proper strategy, and then we shall just play music and speed it up. The gameplay, not the music. The music I play would sound weird if you just sped it up. It's not the best idea to have a Neo tank roaming around. But unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. But yes, I should tell you, you might want to grab that one. See, I was thinking, if she moves to that next turn, there's no way I'm going to be able to get my Neo tank out, or any of my air units out. So, regardless of what's going to happen next turn, she can't activate her super seal power. Meaning, all of her units will once again face the movement penalty that they must endure in order to move through forests. And that's the problem with the Neo tanks. I just find them just too powerful. And extremely hard to hit proper ammunition. The only way to safely destroy them is with great longer range. In case you're wondering why I don't activate a seal power, uh, it's because Actually that's a very good question. I guess I'll wait a bit. There is a flat buzzing around in my recordings area. I don't have much recording area. But I like to keep it whenever I have it. I'm not going to do it for this one, but I'm probably going to do it for the next two. Except for that, we inflate. Invade. I like inflating. Inflating is fun. Word fail. Let us perhaps wait for a stronger. Either the stronger or the more mass producible artillery. Just like I go for the mass pr producible artillery.
One lucky thing that happens to me here, though. They go to destroy all my forces. Which I commend. They leave the airport open. They don't move their missiles at all. My thinking there was, why... You know, why waste a um, perfectly good... Anyway, this one's coming to a close soon, so I will see you guys later on day 13 of the Orange Star. So long, everybody.